Good Sunday morning, everybody. Good Sunday morning. Welcome to Sunday with Spirit. For the people who are joining for the first time, this is not a political poll, it's a spiritual poll. And for the people who have been in this circle and are helping co-create this, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining in. All are welcome. So today I wanted to look at the energy that I'm feeling is a little bit scattered. Sometimes I'm very focused, sometimes I'm not. I'm clear, I'm not. I'm moving through mud, I'm flying through air. It's, it's a little strange time for me. And so when I was um, meditating on what we were going to do today, how we were going to raise the vibration in this web of creation that we play in, I imagined myself going into the healing dome. And I see the fire in the center, the fire in the center. And I see all of us around the fire. <clears throat> and as I came in, I asked some of you all, what's going on? Why am I feeling a, a pull and a push at the same time? Why am I being triggered so hard by some things and not other things? And I've been really intrigued with um, the dark mirror side of things. When something that is perceived to be an issue or a problem, it's for our benefit. That's why we're getting it. That's why we're getting this information. That's why we're, we're being presented with this apparent negative situation. Okay, all right. So I'm going to use that today too. When we come into our healing dome, oh, and it's it's really glowing. I mean, I sense I sense the energy. It's just I don't know if we if we all step into that place. It's really alive. It feels really good. Anyway, let's pick two cards. One, two, one, two, some opposites or right next to each other. Or you could read the whole thing or you could just pick one card, whatever. Your interpretations of what these mean to you are, are the right interpretation. This is just me putting a, a cover on it, so to speak. All right, let's get going. So I walk in and I go, what, what, what is going on? And we're going to start with your work, your light. And while well, somebody said, hey, you're just waking up. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So this is like the ascension process into a higher dimensional vibration. What we're going through, it seems like we're not moving anywhere, but we are. We're slowly rising up. <clears throat> okay. Go down here. Whoo. All right. So the opposite, the complementary card, the mirror card would be the sun. And in this deck, this is the good tarot. And in this deck, it's, it's a, a mature-ish woman, 
So I think of divine feminine awakening. And there are these sunflower seeds that in time will, I mean, think, think of, those are things that we can create, those sunflower seeds. There's so many of them. And she's not looking directly into the sun. She has her back to the sun and is just feeling the warmth. So it goes to this awakening. She's not awake. She's getting there. This sun card is just, just let the sun hit you in the back. Just be there. Be in this energy. Be in this space. There's an, it's not a time to move forward so much um, as to bask in the warmth and in the rays of what's coming at us. Hmm. Okay. This is my Lakota Sweat Lodge. And we get, what is this? Old Man Sorcerer of the North. Woo! Wasi, Old Man Sorcerer of the North. So the northern direction for me is a time of rest. It's a time of reflection. It's a time of replenishment. Um, hopefully, we have enough food stored to get through the winter months of the north. And Old Man Sorcerer, he is letting us know that we get to create what we want to create. And it goes back to the web of creation for me. If I'm on this web that connects every living being, the rock people, the tree people, the two-legged, the four-legged, the winged ones, we are all interconnected and what I think will reverberate throughout this web of creation. Some people will amplify that, I think. So it's like a little radio tower that if one person has a positive thought, the other person will pick it up and it'll go to another person to another person. And sometimes it's a verbal thing, sometimes it's a psychic thing. So as we're creating, as Old Man Sorcerer lets us know that we get to create things, we get to have magic. We just have to wait for the eastern direction, for the sun to rise, to start that again. And then I get pulled to this card, the sun card. And the sun for me is the eastern direction where we start something new. Uh, which one? Okay, I'm going to use this one. Oh, a sapphire. Wow. This is the ace of wands. A sapphire. It's got a little fairy up here in this lantern home that goes into it. It's kind of, it looks almost a little bit like a healing dome, doesn't it? So what do we want to create? What is, is in our passion? Not what is, not what we're being drug along to what lights us up what is the passion and with this card when i think back on the regular tarot it's a big stick so we got to pay attention to it but it's ace it's the beginning 
it's the spark, something new, warm, that old man sorcerer of the north is suggesting we look at. Pay attention to your passions, to what lights you up. All right, as I go around this circle, oh, this is the Hopi prophecy. Disconnect, go underground for a while. Mm. Wow. There's so much noise coming at us. And I think about um, I'm having a difficult time just being around people. It's like, you know, so many things, what they say, if they're not in, if they're not of in it, speaking from love, if they're not speaking from um, compassion, I just don't want to hear it. I just back away. And there's something to be said with, with disconnecting. We had the full moon and we, some people did a full moon ceremony with other people. There are some who did a ceremony by themselves. Both work out. Both are very good. If the intention was good, the group think allows us to amplify our intentions more. But with this card, disconnect, go underground for a while. It, it reminds, it's, it, it suggests to me that that um, the noise on the top of the planet that is artificial, TV is the big one, internet, I guess, is another one, that um, we need to shut that off more. We need to be more in the healing dome, in the quiet space. Let's go up here. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. So as we disconnect, go underground for a while, and we're like feeling, oh my gosh, I'm just so alone, underground. I'm not in, in a circle. Know that you are not abandoned. Mm, okay. And this says, children of the desert. So there's things that, that we can connect to. It, it doesn't feel like go underground and live there and stay there as ant people. We're not in that part of the Hopi prophecy yet, if we'll get, get back there. So just know that when we get quiet, when we start talking to our guides, that we're not abandoned. We are, it feels like so enriched, but we do have to come up and interact at some point in time or another. And we will, but it feels like um, we just need to put the sun and just not necessarily face it, but just feel the warmth of not being connected and knowing that we're not abandoned. All right. Another one from Work Your Light. Your guidance is divinely guided. Akasha. Akasha. And you could see this woman walking down this long, long hallway. 
It's like, where is she going? There's a lot of things down here that she's been into, and it's black and white. It reminds me of, of the full moon. Some stairs, and then she goes into the color, into the blues, into the pinks. And she stays on the center path, not going off into the sides. So that's another question. Well, how do we know what path it is? Well, for me, if the path I'm on is divinely guided, then I don't need to worry about it. I need to just keep walking. But sometimes, as with this card says, I need to take a break. I need to go underground. And who's to say there are not paths in the lower world underground. All right, then we go back up to the Lakota Sweat Lodge. Ooh, and we get ghost. Ghost. Okay. Hmm, Nagi. This to me feels like the, the shadow work that needs to be done. Looking into the, the places that we don't want to look into and deal with those and transfigure those into a positive aspect of who we are. Yeah. And when we look at this darkness, go, how could we do that? How could we have been like that? How come that's still popping up into my awareness? I thought I fixed it. Just know that the, our path is divinely guided. All right. Where are we here? Ooh, we just have two Aboriginal spirits and a return of spirit. Huh. Frustration and manifestation. Wow. Frustration and manifestation. This, these two cards are kind of what I'm feeling right now. I know I'm manifesting something. Is it frustration? No, no, no. Is it because of frustration, is it because I am not manifesting things fast enough that I feel frustration? <sighs> is this the shadow work that I need to do? <laughs> Manifestation and frustration? Oh my gosh. I love the colors on this card. And then you look at it in this card. Somebody, I'm looking at this brown. Some people, I've had a couple of people go, it's amazing, all you eat is brown food. Because I like a lot of beans and rice. <laughs> Boritos. Maybe I need... Put a little more color into my food, which I have been. But anyway. So all of this, all of this give and take, push and pull, awakening, going underground, being divi divinely guided, by the old man, sorcerer of the north, knowing we're not abandoned, knowing that we have 
the ace of fire in the sun shining their lights to manifest things and the center card is let's not overthink this simplicity simple. Why are we making it so hard? Do a little meditation. Let the sun warm us up. Tell the universe what we want. Peace, love, understanding, harmony. People getting along with each other. People not judging each other. It's a beautiful world. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for joining in on this little healing dome of clarity. Appreciate you all. Peace and love.